Aloha, my name is Aaron, and today we're going to talk about plant support structures. Now, the purpose of this video is to promote and share proper techniques for choosing and setting up plant support structures in a farm and or home gardening scenarios. Viewers will benefit from this video by learning how plant support systems may help them to efficiently grow a certain crop. Throughout the video we will also learn the purpose of plant support structures, the plants associated with these support structures, the types of plant support systems, and planning for the long run of your installation of your plant support system. The purpose and uses. First and foremost, uh, these systems are used to support the structure of a plant. It will help to elevate the fruit from the soil, which will make it less prone to soil borne pathogens, keeps the fruit from bruising or deforming from laying on the ground. It also allows for the plant to grow vertically, which will maximize land space, and also applied to ornamental applications. Plant crops. So this will be the food crops that are related or are usually related to a trellis or a cage or some type of plant support system. Some of these food crops are uh, grapes, cucumbers, olives, beans, and peppers. Also support systems can be used for ornamental plants such as bougainvillea, roses, wisteria, ivy, and etc. But some plants do benefit from a certain type of support system. So let's go take a look at those next. Okay, so these are the three basic plant support structures that I've listed here. Uh, first we have basket and cage, stakes, and trellises and fences. So let's go ahead and take a look at each one. Okay, so this is our first example of the plant support structure. We have here a basket and cage. Now any fence-like structure that surrounds any plant for structural support can be characterized as a basket or cage. Now, typically, these types of systems are limited to one plant each and is not used in large-scale food production. An example of a cage is the recognizable conical-shaped tomato cage that is usually found at your local hardware and garden store. Our second example are stakes. Now, staking usually consists of using one stake per plant for structure support. Any sturdy material can be used such as wood, bamboo, fence posts, and PVC. Sometimes a singular durable rope or synthetic line is used for each plant to climb upon. The line is typically suspended from a sturdy overhead line or beam acting as an anchor for the line. Usually any plant with heavy fruits can benefit from being tied onto a stake for structural support. A sturdy viney plant like the indeterminate tomato can be used with the suspended line systems. Now our last example of plant support structures are trellises and fences. Now trellises have many types of designs used for certain crops, growing styles, and harvesting methods. However, both are similar in the fact that they have to have sturdy poles set up along the line with strong tie-in points or anchors at each end of the row. Trellises can be used in large acre farms growing grape, olive, squash, and cucumbers. Fences can be used in the same way for the same plants, but to keep costs down, it is not used in large-scale farming. Fencing can also be quite the chore to clean and manage after a growing season. 
Ornamental plants are also used on trellises and fencing. The plant support systems usually have some kind of decorative mantra to it, such as an arbor used for entryways and the background to an altar for an outdoor wedding. Lattices, as well, can be used alongside houses to add a little elemental flair to the property. Now that we have established the basics of plant support systems, here are a few additional things that you should consider when setting up your plant support system. First, you must choose if your plant support system is going to be set up temporarily or permanently. Secondly, be sure to plan and draft out your plant support system before you install it and plant the crops. Take note of the materials that would be needed and what design would best accommodate your plants. And lastly, be sure to incorporate your irrigation setup and harvesting goals. Spacing your trellises to accommodate hand picking or mechanical harvesters may save you a lot of time and money in the long run. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for listening. Please feel free to browse the web pages of the references I have of the pictures in this presentation. And also check out the links I have on the next slide that will lead you to other video presentations on plant support structures. Mahalo.